Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is a very exciting day. Well, one, it's the last morning that I have this car. I get my car back this morning. Um, and two, today's Friday, I don't have class, so tonight, Quinch and I are going literally to a cooking class. We're gonna go do some festive stuff this afternoon. During the day, we're just gonna get some stuff done. Um, I have someone coming to clean the house. It's just gonna be great. Also, oh good, we're in the car so he doesn't even know. But today, I know I'm so extra, if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, today is Quentin's half birthday, which he's obsessed with his birthday. This is only really a thing because he's so obsessed with his birthday. And then I was like, oh, I should look surprised him for his half birthday because he bet he doesn't even know. And today's like kind of a harder day for my family. So he's definitely not thinking about that. But I planned this like, literally two three months ago so i got him two presents and i'm gonna surprise him and give them to him so that'll be fun but yeah today's gonna be a good day i'm very excited i feel like it's really like christmas um it's like 6 30 right now i'm on my way to pilates gonna work out and then i'm gonna drop dom's car off to her q is picking up my car he's gonna pick me up and then our day begins everyone so I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Question, when there are Vlogmas vlogs, do you guys like them to be shorter because there's so many to watch or do you guys like them to be longer still? Because it's very hard for me to do a vlog under like 15 minutes now. I feel like it's like not even a vlog. I don't know why. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to combine some days. Like Just filled up Dom's tank. I'm getting a blue bottle and then I'm gonna go drop off her car. Quinn is taking me up in my car, but I'm so freaking hungry. All right, so I got Dom's. Oh my gosh, I just spilled her coffee. That's not good. Got Dom's order and I'm about to go drop off her car and her breakfast. Okay, so I'm about to head to Dom's, but I'm gonna quickly take this wheatgrass shot. <sighs> Just to, I'm really fighting against um, getting sick this holiday season, guys. Oh my gosh. I really have been a big shots girl this Vlogmas. It wasn't that bad, but this is from Jama Juice. I feel like it's not like, I feel like it has to be. The more disgusting the shot, the more expensive it is, and the better it is for you. Guess what his name is? Hey, Coco. What? Quentin. <laughs> No way. Mm -hmm. What a time. We're about to make some eggs. All right guys, for some reason, I'm still just so tired. So um, our cleaner from Handy just came. If you guys want to get someone to come clean your house, use the link down below and you guys can get $55 off. But I'm making my first Nespresso latte and I've had this since literally last year. Here we are. So, it is almost 11, I've showered, self-tan. Um, we're gonna work until about 1.30 because we have someone cleaning the house until 1.30, just doing like a deep clean. If you guys use Handy, what is that? Oh, Coco's glossy hair toy. Oh, there she is. If you guys use Handy, um, use my link, you guys get $55 credit towards like a cleaning. They can hang up TVs, mount stuff. It's really helpful, especially if you're like younger, a clean, like if you get your apartment clean or something, it's not that expensive. So you basically get a free house cleaning and it's very, very nice. Cause sometimes you just need someone else to come and like deep clean it and it's just amazing. But we just got our 23 and me results in. Quentin's very excited. He's literally thrilled. I'm elated. I got him this like, what, a few months ago now? And so, yeah. Quentin's adopted, so this is like a big deal. But anyways, we're gonna look at the results, have some great time, and then get as much done as possible, and then have a great, oh my gosh, KP, have a great, great day. Guys, so I just finally got ready. I've been doing homework and just working for the past few hours, but now it's like 1.30, I think, and I'm ready to go do something. I don't even know, because everything we were gonna do is outdoors, and now it's raining, and this happens like once a year in LA, and I love rain, but tomorrow I was planning on having a movie day. Not today, and I can't have one today because we have a cooking class tonight, and I need to do some shopping. So that's really unfortunate because we're going, surprise, surprise, back to Century City Mall, but it's outdoors. So hopefully the rain chills out and we can just go to lunch or something before. Anyways, I'm not thrilled about this outfit. My favorite jeans, though, these are Gold Day, if that's how you say them. Um, I'll have the link down below. Air Force Ones. My main thing is that I just don't have a good pair of, like, 
everyday shoes like, i cannot wear air force ones and everything like i'm just so over it so at the mall today i want to look for like other shoes and then i just have on this little not little this um turtleneck from forever 21 and my jennifer fisher hoops that is it here's the first thing dun -dun. here's the second thing my wrapping is tragic but yeah i know that you don't know this but today is your half birthday. So. It is actually? Yes. Which is actually surprising that you don't know because you're obsessed with your birthday, but I know it's your half That's birthday. It's funny because when we were recording 23andMe earlier, I said it was like a half to my birthday. I didn't even know though. Oh, I didn't even hear you say that. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I have a cute surprise for you. Okay. You can't open your eyes. I can open them? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just wait. That's my favorite color. I know. That was on purpose. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. You can sit down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's your first present. <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> wait. Chop, chop, chop. Yes. I know. I didn't write that. I know, but I did the B so that you wouldn't get it confused with your other one. Oh my gosh. Oh my we gosh, love these awesome. Chanel notebooks, but he's out. Like he I'm finishes. Out. I'm this... almost done. I honestly should have ordered them for myself too. Okay. This is unreal. Now. What's in my hand? Okay. Now you can open this one. This one I think will be your fave. Wait, are these the red Nikes? I don't know. You can open them. Oh my gosh, I need new running shoes. So bad. This is why I needed you to get me tape yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, ignore my wrapping job. It's really hard. It's not hard. I'm just bad at it. Here, very organized. No, very organized. Comment down below if you guys clean up immediately after wrapping or way later. Efficiency. Yeah. Oh baby, these things are so clean. Look at this. Wow, aren't they so nice? Yes, literally. Happy half birthday! Best girlfriend <laughs> in the whole world. Yeah, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna get makeup on your hoodie. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Okay guys, finally my pajamas that I've been talking about in the vlogs came in. First, we have this matching set. So, so beautiful. I get mine in a size medium, so they're a little bit oversized. And then I also always get darker. I learned the hard way because I self tan, so like you don't want to get lighter and then looks we'll mess up, whatever. Darker is safer. And then we got this print. So beautiful. Literally cannot wait. Welcome to my living room. I have a ruggable rug, so we're washing it currently. Anyways, Dom came in the other day. I don't remember where we were. She was wearing this black sweater, and I was like, that's the best sweater I've ever seen. And I thought it was this Regal one that I really wanted, but they were like $140, and I wanted every color, so that was my issue. And then she's like, oh my gosh, it is, but I got it on sale. They're 50% off on Macy's. So I got this color, this nice blue, and then I got a black one. The black one's not in yet, but these are just going to be staples for me. The Aritzia, the Super Puff, or Aritzia, the Super Puff. Okay. I got the shiny one. O-M-G. You're ready for New York. Yeah, I really am. Wow, I have to try on my super puff. Um, I picture myself wearing this in everyday life in Los Angeles as well. It's gonna be really extra. Once it hits below 65, this is coming on. Puffer season. Puffer season. I mean, today you could probably wear it, low key. Yeah, I know. So I was thinking, yeah, it has a hood. Wow, oh my gosh. You have no idea, like this. Oh my gosh, that is, oh, wow, it's so cute. Yeah, this is perfect for New York, and I can wear, listen, hear me out, I can wear, I like how it's not super, super, super thick, but I can wear, like, my Aritzia boyfriend, like, gray sweatsuit, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. With this, and I'd be so warm, like, that'll probably be my airport outfit. But, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute, and this is the best part about it, I don't even know, like, the sleeves, but they... Yeah, it's got like the little... It's just like, I can't even describe to you how soft and like how amazing this feels. This is the best thing ever. So, now I have my Aritzia puffer. Wow. This is very exciting. Big I puffer think, girl. Big puffer girl. I think I really need a good pair of black pants. I should have got that already. I'm just trying to think of things. I just don't feel like I have pants even for New York. 
So we really do need to go to the mall. So. Century, good thing we're doing a cooking class, or baking, I guess, at Italy baking, tonight. technically, but. Tiramisu. This is so cute. I'm not gonna wear this. You're so cute. Well, like, should I? I mean. All right, guys, here is my outfit for today. It's raining, so it's way more fitting. This Aritzia puffer is my favorite thing I've legit ever owned. I cannot wait to wear this. One every day and also in New York where it makes more sense. But it's just so perfect. You can tell Aritzia just really knows what they're doing over here. I literally, <laughs> I'm so happy in my jacket. Okay, so I have this Canon M50 thing, right? And every time like it's hit underneath or I touch underneath, like if it's set down on something as I'm recording, this viewfinder goes black and it has since the day I got it. I probably should have, you know, done something about that immediately, but you know, what's new with me? Anyways, um, Quentin, update on his DNA test. We did, we have all this footage and we did film it, but it's more so for like us, not for like YouTube. But out of everything, keep in mind, Quentin's adopted. He has no idea, like he doesn't know his like biological background in the slightest. Nothing about it. Nothing. Also, I really not a zitch zelch. I also surprised you with this. I'm really good with gifts and surprises. Um, but well, one, two things. She's really brilliant with surprises. Thank you. So two things. One, obviously, like you always want to. What the heck is this? I thought it was water. Um. Okay. Two things. One, obviously, like you want to know where you're from and all of that. Like it's like interesting for anyone. And then two. Um, it's really important for health reasons as well. So yeah, we he, I got you the like health if you guys are looking I got him the health and ancestry one. It's like I think it's like two hundred dollars, but There's also deals and stuff like that. <laughs> there's that, you know, half 50% off deal like two days after I bought it It's fine, but out of everything Quentin finds out all this stuff He is the, the most elated. excited for What was I'm it? I'm just elated Just Oh my gosh, excited, I am ecstatic. That? Very, 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 extremely unlikely to have a bald spot. Yeah, there's something or, else, hair, oh. Or hair loss. Hair Both loss Very, very, very low. He, but, I mean, those are the, those are two things that, you know, just guys wonder about, you know? And so now I'm gonna have my grateful forever, so I'm now so I can get different hairstyles forever, praise God, but, one thing that also I'm really excited about is that my muscle composition is that that is highly similar of that that is found in elite athletes. Wow. You know, I am beyond happy for you. But it's out amazing. of everything. Found out that I'm French and German too, which I'm not saying the DNA testing is wrong. You know, I'm not saying that it's 100% right, but I'm just kind of like He's not stupefied. Italian. I'm just kind of like shooketh that I'm not... Italian, you know, yeah. or even like like a little bit. I'm just, you know, infatuated with everything Italian, Italian food, it's culture, so architecture. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. It's but, nature versus nurture, you know. But anyways, I am French, which makes sense because I'm very tall and lean and pale, and I do love oh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Oh, oh my gosh! Every time you do that voice now, I saying. think about when you tell the story of the when we started saying we. We we'll tell that story in the podcast, but <laughs> it was just funny. Anyways, so we're on our way to Jones for Quentin's half birthday lunch. We have our favorite meal that we get there. We'll show you guys. I've definitely shown it in a vlog before, but I'll show you guys again because it's so good. Because when it's good, it's good. So true. So there you go. Guys, crazy stuff is happening. Okay, we're walking to Jones. I'm so hungry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to pass out and just... Dramatic. Here we go to the greatest place on earth. Oh my gosh, it's a winter wonderland in here. It literally is so freaking cute. It is just so beautiful here, guys. Okay, so this is what you have to do. I wasn't thinking and I should have gotten a more plain cue. I'm so sorry. He's a very picky eater. So you get the short roof sandwich and then you get the Chinese chicken salad and you split them. And it's the best combo. It tastes amazing. This is the best salad ever. They got extra salad dressing though. I remember that. <laughs> and then our amazing sandwich. This is seriously so good. This shows that I'm a Texan, you know? Ooh. Guys, all I'm getting out of today is that 
One, I think I was born to be Nancy Drew. Two, I read every single Nancy Drew book by the time I was like seven. An avid reader. Avid, I actually, I was, thank you. Um, I was uh, really above my reading level. And I was also very shy, so all I did was read. Anyways, from this, I've gathered that I really should have, not even just gone into being, I should have gone into the FBI at this point. So anyways, basically I'm your real life Nancy Drew. It's true. Pretty incredible, everyone. So now we're gonna head out to the mall. Oh my gosh, it's four. I definitely thought we were gonna be there by like three. So we're gonna be there probably at like 4.30. So like an hour of shopping, which is not enough time. And then we have um, our baking class. It was gonna be cooking, but they didn't have a cooking one today, so we're learning how to make tiramisu. And it's we've always wanted to do this. I have. Very excited. Woo! The mall is so beautiful. This is already one of the most beautiful malls in the world, but you guys aren't even really seeing the super festive part of it. Quentin's putting on his Tom Ford cologne that he's obsessed with. I'm trying to buy Morgan's Christmas present. I already have one part of it, but not the like main big part. She is the hardest of all of my friends to shop for. Cause like, yes, she does have everything, but she like, she's just so hard to shop for, you know? So, gotta figure that out. I might not get anything here. I might just like, I don't know. Cause I just decided I'm gonna give her her present. <gasps> Whoa. Guys, look at this. Wow. Housebreak. Also guys, so this summer, I'm in a pan, there's just, we were sitting right here when Quentin and I were like seeing each other, my sister was in town, but he wasn't like, we weren't like, we just, I wasn't posting on social media at that point. So we were vlogging, we were with you like for four days straight and like you could not tell in the footage because I just wasn't vlogging with him, but he was with us the whole time. And there's one clip where in the background with the reflection of Maddie's sunglasses, Quentin and I are like, like, I think you your arm around me or something like that. Like you can kind so, yeah. of see it and you guys figured it out. It was really, honestly impeccable work. You guys are Nancy Drew too. Wow guys, look at this Christmas wonderland. Don't we need hot chocolate? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is so freaking cute. Oh, you can go in there and take photos of Santa. We're probably gonna do that for tracks. Honestly, we did that last year. Wow. It's so beautiful. I hate when I vlog in public and people think I'm filming them. What is this? Whoa, I only like hot chocolate. Whoa. <laughs> oh, cute. Whoa. Gift wrap. They've got some little pop-ups. Whoa. This is truly crazy. The railway schedule, I'm literally like a kid. Oh my gosh, stop, it's so freaking cute. This is the best Christmas thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Wow. It's snowing in LA. Wow, this is so cute. Wow. Wow. It's fun. Do you get cologne? It's authentic. No, 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 uh. maybe. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Wow, this is literally the most insane. Like, it's so amazing. They killed this, wow. Okay, so we are at the Nordstrom Bistro Bar. I got some apple cider, and then we got a maple latte. Maple Q brown sugar. Maple brown sugar latte. Q loves maple, so, and, and I love sugar. apple cider. Fun and fact, brown sugar. my mom made me a peanut butter brown sugar sandwich every True. single day, from kindergarten all the way to high school for lunch. Have any of you guys ever tried that? I've never heard that before you. Peanut butter, brown sugar, why don't we ever do that? Is it one of those things you just can't eat anymore? Oh, Thank you. Perfect. There we go. It's one of those things I've had a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's the healthiest for you. Oh, yeah. Update, it's so good. I don't know what brand this is, but it's really funny. And I like the branding, and it's cool. Do you not like the smell? It's okay. Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure I would like a smell from them, but that's not like my favorite one ever. Coffee and cedar wood. I don't want to get that one because I just like the adulting, but. It smells like the joy of missing out. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I have joy of missing out. This one is, this candle is called, the brand is Cancelled Plans. This one is Student Loans. Do not disturb. So I don't really like the social anxiety one, but French exit. Student Loans. What's a French exit? An Irish exit is when you don't say bye, right? Yeah. 
I want this. These barefoot dreams. We made it to our cooking class. There's cubbies. This is our seat. This is so cool. They also have food before. Thank God. Good thing we ate out for lunch then. Um, oh, water. All right, so we got some dinner. Looks amazing. Mushroom pizza. We know how much I love mushrooms. Whoa. Quentin is putting on his apron. Keep it up. Come on. Cooking it up. My gosh. This is the first first layer. What are you going to do now? Well, uh, coffee is hot. Uh, then the, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the use, I, I use Any, no whipping cream. Yeah, yeah. And then you uh, bring it up. Do you would like Cercilla for this? You want to add something more? Uh, people said to do the uh, sugar. Uh, for the minute. Let me come, let me go. You go, easy, easy, easy. No, I mean, pasta, that's another good one. Polenta classes are nice. For your breakfast tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be a nice Saturday for you guys. Aprons and all, we have our tiramisu. So now we get to eat our own tiramisu, which is so fun. Cheers. It's really freaking good. Wow. Wow. This is what I imagine mine will taste like tomorrow. We finished our cooking class, guys. So cute. Update on our Italy baking class. I keep wanting to say cooking class. One, I actually really like tiramisu. I thought that I didn't like it for some reason. Look at that. That's Ooh. a life size. They've always had that cute. Pasta? Well, I know, but uh, have they seen it? Oh, crazy. You've never been to an Italy. That's no. a life size. I don't even know what the. Comment down below if you guys have been to an Italy. I freaking love them. They're so cool. They're opening one up in North Park for all my Dallas girls. But they have, as you guys saw, this really cute room where they do like cooking classes, baking classes. We want to go back for a risotto one. I love the Quentin license. like specifically requested a um, pesto class. Who's surprised? Also, guys, something very funny happened today. Awful. This is my luck in life, and I can't say it on camera. But if you guys want to know, join the Facebook group. Join the secret. Join the secret. No, like in also, all seriousness, guys. I'm not kidding. It was actually like this. Only happens to me. Yes, you. If. You ever look from now on? I'm changing my ad name to Master Chef Quinton B. Webb. Mm. He's really humble. It's my favorite thing about him. You know? So pretty. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Happy holidays, All right, guys. I have my rug is drying, so we just have the. I honestly like the look of this black rug better. We just have the base on, but I just changed into my perfect Victoria's Secret silk pajama set for my Ugg slippers. I wish I was wearing a really fluffy robe, but then maybe I should get one of those for Christmas. I like don't, my parents just keep asking and I like, yeah. I've changed what I want for Christmas. I already bought you your thing. I want matching PJs. Not like that, like, but I need like a set. Like, not matching you, but like top matching bottom. Yeah, that's, I have that on your list of gifts actually. I didn't get that for you, but it's in the future at some point. Well, send Santa a letter. Yeah, let me send Santa a letter. Okay, well, that cooking class, guys, was seriously so cool. If you have an Italy in your city, I cannot recommend it to you enough. It's like really not expensive for like what you get in the slightest you also get like a full meal and all the stuff and like the food to take home with you and you get food there so like overall i was thinking about this is actually a really great value so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much to italy for having us that was seriously so much fun and that's also before quentin and i even like were dating we were both like like cooking costs would be like incredible so here we are people good morning everybody and welcome to coco's morning routine First, she always has to make sure that she grabs her laptop to make sure her content is up to date and that she's posting at the correct time. Right, Coco? Then, Coco, give yourself some self-talk. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Yeah, that's you. That's you. <gasps> Who's the best dog in the whole world? That's you, yeah. Pump yourself up. You go, girl. You go, girl. Yeah, yeah. Today is yours. Live life 
on Papas. Then Coco comes into the kitchen to have a nutritional breakfast. Classic dog chow. Good choice, Coco. I agree. Make sure the bowl is full. I forget about the water. Coco needs fresh water. I know. Hydration nation, right, Coco? Perfect. Oh, got some fresh water for you. Coco, come. Hey, look. She always starts her day off by drinking a lot of water. It's very important because when you go to sleep, that's at least six to eight hours of no water intake. Coco's very aware of this. She knows that water is a vital important, is vitally important to start her day off. Then she comes in to check on her personal assistant. Good morning, everyone. Oh, thank you. Quentin made breakfast and he gave me Over some- Over early because football. Football. Um, we have vital proteins. Shots. Do you want one of these? It's not a wellness shot. Maybe I'll think about it. Okay. Well, we have some great breakfast. We made some coffee. Saturday morning. It's a great morning. Okay, everyone. So, this is what I'm wearing today. I just got this new, actually, like, really oversized long sleeve top from Aritzia yesterday. It was on sale for, like, $20. Then, my puffer. This is the perfect weather to wear it in. It is 60 out and we're going to watch, well I'm gonna watch a football game. Um, Lulu Align leggings, Air Force Ones. Comment down below what new shoes I should get, seriously. I'm just, I'm really at a loss. Um, yeah. Quentin is getting so overly, guys he literally just screamed, quarterback, woo, let's go! And ran in my office. He's taking this little recreational, fun football game very seriously. Oh god, okay. Oh, wait, my wallet's in your bag. What time are yeah, I don't really know what you're doing. Let's go. Need to put the Celsius in my, my water. Ew. <laughs> He's wearing, one, how are you wearing a hat like that? And two, it's Alicia's So Extra merch hat. That's what you're wearing today? We're playing football, yeah. About to be So Extra. Oh my god. <laughs> going down. Just kidding. Wait, you're not. Good morning, everyone. We are off to a football game. Oh, yeah. Quentin thinks he was like, he was just listening to some pregame music. It's very interesting pregame music. What do you, see, you listen to like, probably like Lecrae, and I would listen to like- KB. KB, yeah, Derek Minor. It's not really a Derek Minor guy, but. I'm just naming any of them that I know. Um, ooh. And then meanwhile, I listen to Nicki Minaj or something. So anyways, um, we're gonna, well, I'm gonna go watch with Jess. I'm bringing us some hot chocolate from Starbucks. But Quentin, how do you feel about today's game? It's a very big deal for him. Just really pumped up. Um, just kind of been thinking about, you know, how the team needs to go out and what we need to execute and um, have fun and be strong in communication on the field and um, just really good and um, just yeah, doing jobs. <laughs> he, earlier, we were driving and he's like, I just don't know if I want to be on Tommy's team or play against Tommy. Like, so seriously. Like, he's really taking this game to heart. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty serious situation. He, um, Quentin is I mean, like... If you're going to do it, you might as well just do it, you know? Yeah, it's so you can fun. be wrong or right, be right. So... Quentin? <laughs> no. I can't believe right now. Quentin is an Enneagram type 8, if that means anything to you, the challenger. He's very competitive. And also, I just took my 23 and Me, and what did it say about my health traits? Uh, my muscle composition is that of elite athletes, so. And my middle initial is B, so it's QB. Who does that remind you of? TB, Tom Brady. So it's That's really, really a stretch. <laughs> I'm quarterback for sure. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's like really, really competitive, and I'm like, I'm competitive when things matter, but not in like, like in something that's fun and lighthearted. I'm not competitive. Quentin doesn't turn off his competitive here's switch. A, here's the thing: I'm not like competitive, like riled up, but also like I'm gonna win. So, but he's like not competitive, guys. So don't worry about it. Anyways, if you guys are new here, subscribe. Um, after we need to go to Bath and Body Works because they're having their candle sale. 
We were gonna do our Saturday morning routine tradition with Coco, yeah. but they don't know about that because they never vlog on Saturdays. Saturdays in the past few months have become our like like chill, relax, refresh day. We love Saturdays. Every Saturday morning, we take Coco to the Starbucks drive-thru. We get our drinks, and then she gets a puppuccino. I didn't want to bring her today because it's like kind of raining and wet, but I regret not bringing her. I made a mistake. But anyways, I have my hot chocolate. We're on our way to the game, guys. Updates to come on how this really works out. Post-game uh, conference to come. Oh my, oh. If you have any questions, put them down. Comment down below if you have questions for Q, yeah. Okay, this is not real. This is not real. <laughs> I have your hot chocolate. They can't really see you, so there you go. She said my puff was cute. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to match. It's yeah, it's amazing. All right, guys, the music's on. It's very loud. The game's going. We haven't really been paying much attention. I can't lie. Quentin seems to be taking this um, a little bit so of into it. Yeah, like a little bit above average for a serious level. <laughs> so it started raining. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, he <laughs> fell. Uh, oh. He <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. guys, he just fell and then he did a roll and then he jumped up. So he's good now. He's so quick on his The one time we watch him too. <laughs> we have the MVP here, everyone. Congrats on your great game. Thank you. I am. Um, it's fall. Had, oh, sorry. Not that, you know, it's about numbers, but, you know, three interceptions. Uh -huh. uh, three for three touchdowns. Um, wow. At least a dozen or more flag pulls. That's so impressive. But look at fall. Wow. We missed most of it. But look. Hello, everyone. We're on our way to the mall, or we're walking into the mall right now because Bath & Body Works is having a candle sale. I'm only in LA for like one more week of the holiday season. This is our one Saturday of the month here where it's like chill because next week we have big things happening. Ah, oh, the Christmas music. Can't wait for Christmas. It's so great. In the great country of Texas. Great country of Texas. Okay, turn around. Wait, oh, it's blocked right now. Hold on. Just wait. Give it like a little bit of time. OMG! Oh. I know! Alright, guys, we are making it back to Bath and Body Works. Wow. The annual candle day. Alright, guys, that was really crazy. Really an experience. We got four candles. We're heading out. All I needed from here today. I really still need to get Morgan's Christmas present, but she's being difficult. They have a Francesco's here. That's a very southern store. They probably had them in Florida. Here we go. Okay, we are home. We are, well, we ordered lunch from Tinder Greens. What's new? Have our new candles. I bought four candles at Bath & Body Works. Of course, you lit your favorite. Um, I always take off the stickers of the Bath & Body Works candle just because I don't really like the style of them. Um, I really dislike them for the winter time, but I normally, I'm like, you know, I'm a big fan, can't act like I'm not, but I take the stickers off. Anyways, this one is a new one that we've never gotten, the cinnamon caramel or caramel? So what do you say? Caramel or caramel? Um, I think it depends on, like, where I'm at. Me too. I think I say both. I don't know what I, I like, when I, uh, I just don't know. Anyways, this one smells really good. So My like, all-time fave is marshmallow fireside. So it's caramel. Yeah. Salted caramel, salted caramel. I don't really know what I say, honestly. Depends on the day. So, I'll have my caviar linked down below and you guys can get $20 credit. That covers food, too. So, there we go. Dessert wow. for two. Here Tiramisu. we go. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. So, it is a few hours later. Um, by a few hours, I think it's like 9 p.m. now. So, I don't remember the last thing we vlogged, but we got home. We watched a Christmas movie and I've been like editing and we've been like working on stuff ever since. So, now, we're gonna end off the vlog trying our very own tiramisu from our cooking class at Italy. I like yeah, cut a square did. right out of the middle. Okay, mine is like messy and chocolate chips are everywhere. Quentin's perfect. I'm like, so oh my gosh. I was starting to do that and then I was like, oh, I just kind of rushed, whatever. Are you excited? I am. That's good. It's pretty bomb. <laughs> wow. Pretty bomb, I'm with it. I didn't realize how much I actually like tiramisu. It's really no, good. It's so good. It's made differently depending on the region. We learned a lot. It was cool because the cooking class actually gave you like a little bit of history and stuff. I was thinking that I'm like I actually like that's actually really cool. Okay. And we take like three or four more. We're very 
like knowledgeable knowledgeable very basically, above average basically master chefs basically this isn't i mean technically it's baking but not it's baking but there's cooking classes and stuff too. Like if you guys take a class, there's so many classes that you can take. Terms food is really fun. Um, and it wasn't like super difficult or anything. There are two different types, two different regions. The guy talked about how this they were fighting. So they're fighting over who what trademark? Who or? like invented it? Anyways, one region they used a lot of well not a lot but like alcohol in it. This one they didn't. So this one's super simple, family friendly. It's bomb. Family friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. That is it for this vlog. It turned into a little weekend in my life vlog. Um, I'm going to be combining a few days just throughout Vlogmas just because I have a lot of other videos that are going up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I have my other pajama set. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Follow. You can follow both of us on Instagram. And if you guys haven't already checked out the new merch. I realize we didn't even talk about this in this vlog, which is shocking because Quentin lives in it. Um, this is the first time I've ever worn it. In forever. I thought it was thunder, but it was a car. Okay, so that is it. Hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.